Today we continue working with improving our circulation and some techniques to pump the lymph. And we will combine some of the things we've already learned. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. And we've been working with the breath for the last month. And in that process, we learned how to get a, sort of what I call the whole body breath from the Aston par paradigm of arcing. Now we're going to combine that with yesterday's lesson of working with the diaphragm to, to breathe down and pump. So we're going to start to combine some of these skills. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with that, the other lesson, you might want to follow the, we'll put a link in the description and go back and check that one out. But I'm going to back up so you can see a little bit more of my body. And, uh, and as the, uh, as I sit in the chair with my pelvis uh, higher than the knees and my pelvis slightly more forward, as I uh, as my pelvis comes forward, it, it's, it gives me the suggestion of being longer in the front, which is the same uh, suggestion of an inhale. So that will encourage an inhale. As my pelvis rolls back, I, my chest will fall and, and I'll come into an exhale or blow in the air out. So it looks like this, roll forward, inhale. Roll back, exhale. Roll forward, inhale. Now, so with this whole body, now we're, we're creating some pumping, natural pumping action with our flexion and extension. We're gonna add to that yesterday's lesson of breathing with the diaphragm and really feeling the diaphragm pump against that uh, cisternic chyle, that uh, central uh, shaft, uh, uh, thoracic shaft for pumping the lymph, okay? And so again, as we, if we just do that uh, inhaling, right, the diaphragm pushes down And I can feel that or, or imagine that diaphragm pushing and pumping. And it goes against the, the back wall, against the spine there. So now if we add those two together, it looks something like this. So as I roll forward and inhale. So this can really start to pump the lymph through the trunk of the body. Okay. And this becomes uh, uh, a way that we can just continue to improve our lymph flow. Now we sit a lot, most of us will, will sit a lot. So this is an opportunity, you don't even have to get up off your chair to do a little bit of, of change of your condition and situation rather than sit here with the chest all crunched down and you know the arms all, everything kind of crunched in. We can take an opportunity to come up, do this, this breathing and then pump the lymph with that so that we at least start to get some movement in that way. That's, you know, we, we need to be moving, all right? This is, this is fundamental. So I'm not trying to replace the idea of get up and walk and move. That's very important. But periodically, really, every, every so often, every 20 minutes even, you could pause, take one or two breaths that would help pump the lymph. And it's going to make a big difference to how your body is at the end of the day, okay? So... The, the, we talked yesterday also about the, the lymph flowing and the pumping that we can do uh, across, across the, the groin area here and then in the lymphatic pumping here. Now, what do I do about the rest of the body or the rest of the tissue? So I'm going to show you another little exercise that we can do. I'm going to show it to you both sitting and standing. When I stand up, my head's going to go out of the, out of the field, but um, you'll still be able to see what I'm talking about. And I call this the nudge. Uh, you know, and then a, you know a little bit of a, a seated bounce. Okay, so the the skeletal muscle contraction again is what is pumping the lymph. I mean, I know we went over that yesterday, but the um, as I'm sitting, if if I push the my feet into the floor to push my head upward, okay, then that action and you feel it. You're, you're contracting those quad muscles, and if you do a little squeeze to the butt, right, a little kegel. Uh, or squeeze to the whole butt muscle, you're getting that fluid to pump all the way up and in and then relax. So that's what I call this little nudge. I mean, I'm showing it to you even stronger than it is, but if I do one leg and then the other, one leg, and if I look, if I point, uh, show you face forward, I'm gonna put a little bit of weight into this leg and push, put a little bit of weight into this leg and push. So I'm kind of just kind of going up and down, but I'm kind of doing one leg at a time, right? So push, 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 push. It's a little exercise to get the lift. Now, during this little pushing, I want to feel the foot, the calf, 
the quad and the glute, right? So I'm gonna try to get this pumping action where the fluid is being pumped up from the foot upwards. So as I do this on the, I'm gonna do foot, foot, calf, calf, knee, knee, quad, quad, glute, glute, and then relax. And then we'll do go back and do that again where I'm doing foot, foot, calf, calf. And when I say calf, I'm, when I say these, I'm trying to contract my calf as part of that process. So again, foot, foot, calf, calf, quad, quad. Quads are the thighs here. Quad, quad, glute, glute, which is the butt muscles. And then so I'm getting that pumping, pumping, pumping. Now, if I can, like I said, you have to get good at this and try to, you know, rub your tummy and, and pat your head at the same time. But the, it, if I can breathe, work with the breathing to pull the lymph while I'm doing this stimulation, so every breath and inhale, I imagine this. So, you know, foot, foot, inhale. Pulling that heavy inhale pulls that fluid up. And you know, there is this a bit of a, a workout here. When you start contracting these big muscles, you're really gonna start feeling some action, some burning, you'll burn some calories. So this is one way that if you're really quite immobile, in other words, if you sit all the time or in a wheelchair, you know, obviously if you're a wheelchair like paralyzed, you can't feel your, your legs, you don't have action in your legs, that's not gonna help. But but if you're kind of like, you know, you have a bum knee or something and, and you, you, you don't can't do much, you can't really get up and move very well, but you can at least start to pump your lymph by just putting a little bit of weight into each foot and come back, put a weight into one foot and come back, put your weight into that foot. So I'm just kind of putting a little bit of weight, pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, right? If that if that's too much, and I, you can see I'm doing it pretty quickly, you can do it as slow as you need to, but it could just be I come forward, let me show you sideways, I come forward and push myself back, come forward and push myself back. The push is the action of the legs. I'm not doing an upper body, you know, rocking, I'm doing the legs pushing me. So it's as if I was trying to push the chair backward, right, I'm trying to push the chair backward, push the chair backward, push the chair backward. So that work is happening in the quads, in the legs, and that's again, that's going to be pumping. Now, this is seated. You can do the same thing in standing. So I'm going to go ahead and stand. And like I said, I'm going to go out of view here. But I can do the same thing where I'm push, 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 push from side to side. Push, 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 push. So this is a, 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 a opportunity to kind of maybe I can maybe I could see you here. So. Um, you can feel this, there's two different sets of muscles that, that we work with when, when we're in upright. We have the muscles that, that push us upward and the muscles that catch us, catch us from falling. And you can feel this, and this will help you pump the lymph this way as well. So as I go down, down, so as if I'm falling and then catching myself, falling and catching, falling and catching. So I'm going down and down and down and down. So that down action, uh, there's a certain set of muscles that catch me on the down. The other way is if I'm already down, bend your knees, so you'd be from, from down this position, and then push upward, and push upward, and push upward. So that push up is an entirely different set of muscles. I hope you can feel that. So again, I'm here and I'm pushed up. My, I'm, and basically when I say push up, I'm straightening my knee, right? My knee is straightening, I'm, I'm engaging the quad, the glute and the quad muscles, okay? So again, I'm pushing up, 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 up. So it would be a down, 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 like I'm catching myself on the fall, and up, 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 up. So if I want to get a little stimulation of circulation here without any equipment, without necessarily a trampoline. Now, trampoline will be fabulous to do that little trampoline, but here we're, I'm going to basically mimic the little bounce without the trampoline. So I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? And so I'm down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so it's this little down, up, nudge. Now, I'm, I could, I'm doing it, you know, you could do it even less than this, where it'd be just a tiny little bounce, and you feel the down, and then feel the up, 
right? And you can tell that those are two different sets of muscles. So do 10 reps on the down, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 10 reps on the up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so you're getting this both down, up, and then a couple of them that are down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the, the stimulation you can get out of this for the muscle system is really quite good, and you're getting the big muscles of the legs to pump and push out. Now, if any of this hurts your knees or hurts your hips or hurts your ankles, then you need to you know, stop it and not do it. I don't advocate doing exercises that hurt you. You need to figure out another way around it. I'm just giving you some general tips, some ways that you can very easily stimulate the, the lymph flow. I mean, some of the best lymph uh, uh, ways to stimulate is get into a swimming pool in water and you're, you know, you're gonna get the movement of the water, jog in place or push around in the water, walk around in the pool in the water, you know, and that, that push of the pressure of the water against the skin is gonna help push the lymph. We're gonna talk more about brushing, uh, and, and that's not in this video, but we're gonna do more about brushing, uh, and, and it's because a lot of the lymph flow happens right underneath the skin. And remember, the importance of the lymph is that it drains the toxins out of the tissue. All the waste material, it's like the, the, the toilet system, basically. It, you know, when you flush the toilet, you want it to go down, you want that stuff to go out. Well, the tissue needs to have that lymph flushed out and swept out, and it doesn't, the heart pumping does not move the lymph. Skeletal muscle contraction is the only thing that, that moves the lymph. You've got to pump that lymph. So just again, a little recap. We're breathing with the diaphragm and imagining with our breath that pumping. The diaphragm is, is literally physically pumping the, that, that uh, fluid. You can pump manually by putting a little bit of pressure uh, above the collarbones, so you could do a little bit below the collarbones, a little bit above the collarbones, okay? And so I'm getting some, you know, I could run my hands down this and a little bit of massage. And then down in the hips, same kind of thing, where I, at the fold, if I go uh, uh, below the fold and slide above the fold here and here, pump all the way up, pump all the way up. So I'm pulling essentially pulling that fluid. Now, if you're hitting a lymph node in there and it hurts, don't, don't push hard enough to hurt that lymph node. You just wanna get that fluid moving past there. So that's, those are the pump, the two drainage points now. Again, so as we do the exhale and roll forward, inhale, diaphragm, and then imagining with that inhale, the fluid moving. Uh, little bounce that we can do while we're seated Push, 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 push. This is just the push coming off the chair. I mean, as I push up, push, 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 push. And then I can do this standing of the down, up, down, up, down, up. And if you, you're you not doing any exercise at all, this is something, but we're gonna get that circulation moving. You can actually, if you did enough of this uh, with the legs, push, 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 side to side, you're kind of running in place on your you can feel, you can hear, I hope you the bounce off of my stool, then, uh, you know, you can actually work up a sweat, you know, working these heavy muscles, these big muscles are doing a lot of work there. So I know we, you know, no one likes to do exercise, or you know, most people, uh, but, but this is just movement. We got to have movement in order to get good fluid flow. So I hope this is helpful for you. And uh, we're gonna, so that's the end of, week, of this week here, week six, and uh, we'll be doing a, a summary video here and then we'll start into next week where we're gonna talk uh, a little bit more about breathing and cleansing and, uh, and getting the, making that connection. We'll come back to the blood a little bit next week uh, and then, you know, it's again, back you know, between blood and lymph, all right? So uh, keep doing a little bit of movement. These are some ideas. Hopefully you can grab a couple of these and, and implement them. Uh, we've started our supplements, so continue working. We're reminding you to breathe with your supplements. Invite those into the bloodstream. We want to get those into the bloodstream and saturate and flood the body with nutrients, okay? Happy wellness.